Ooh. How you doing, Baxter? There's... A f there's... A, there's phone ringing. Well, uh, answer the head? damn phone! Is that in my head? What are you... Is, this is real. Is this real? Oh. Uh, it's your dad. Did that woman just hand me a phone? Why did it take me so long to pick up? Pick up. <laughs> answer the phone when I'm calling you, son. I don't pay this phone bill <laughs> so you can put it in your pocket and let this shit ring. Well, alright folks, that's been episode 9. We'll, uh, catch you later, I guess. <laughs> no, Dad. I'm a grown man. I'm 8 now. <laughs> Damn, Dad. Why you gotta play me like that? Well, anyway, so sh should we... Should we greet our audience again? Is that something we need to do? Uh, I, I spoke, I mean, like, hey, there you go, you're greeted. We've already been going for about two minutes now, so I guess the, the moment's, the moment is gone. Yeah. This lady thinks I love department stores. I don't truck with that kind of thing. Um, By the way, I am watching this time. We will keep this episode at 30 minutes, so you better make some progress. All right, let's do this. Let me roll. Who's this one? The bus won't go to three. Ooh, Check out got... one of those books. Play one of those games. Uh-oh. Where are the sharks? <laughs> I need a man to run up to me and say, Yeah? <laughs> Hello, Pigpen. I heard it helps in battle. Dang, that kid's all over town. <laughs> kid, kid you know, just rolls up. He uh. must have a scooter. Possibly a skateboard. <laughs> Hello, ATM machine. I'd like to make a withdrawal. Take all that money. Oh. What do they have in, in Japan? Do they drive they drive mopeds around in Japan, right? Yeah, a lot of scooters. Hondas, that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, Dude, this lady's got. I don't need any more teddy bears. Yeah, isn't there a teddy bear following you around already? Yeah, I wonder what happens if I try to buy I don't know, buy one. another one. Maybe you can, maybe you'll have two. Let's, let's buy some gear first. Uh... Okay, buy some, buy some cogs. Buy some, uh, axles. <laughs> some grease. Some thick lithium grease. Yeah. This game does some crucial things. That's it's like, hey, I see that you just bought a thing you can equip. Do you want to equip it now? Yes. Do you want to sell the old thing back to me? Yes. Let's do this. You think we should go ahead and buy some gear for the uh, the character we're probably gonna get? No. Just say because we don't know what what gear what gear he's gonna wear or well, or I mean, even if if it's distributed like that. I mean. I don't know, his gear might be the same gear you have. Uh, I don't well, know how this game works. Yeah. Uh, that, that thing at the bottom will darken whenever I can't equip something, so I assume the frying pan and the ribbon are for uh, Naomi. Can you buy them? Uh, yeah. Oh. Yes. She might come with a better weapon than the frying pan. That's possible, but then we can always sell it or ditch it. We got plenty of money. Oh no. Sure, let's get rid of something. Hamburger. We've been carrying around that hamburger for like days now, man. <laughs> hamburger is, is effed up. Dude, I, I got too much crap to carry around. Look at all this garbage. Uh. Uh, what? You okay. needed all that. Hang on, I'm gonna ditch that bike. We can always go and rent another one, but we can't even use it when the teddy bear is around. Or when we have a party. It. Can't you sell it? He, he wouldn't let me. Uh. You shouldn't throw the bicycle away. <laughs> okay, well, you only get this one page? Yeah, um, this is this um, is it. Hmm. What if we use the phone? Oh, you can't make calls. Where's the town map? What town? 
uh, any town you're in. Oh. Oh, it's probably, probably. There's a hint store over there. Uh, let's just bounce. I mean, we'll give her a better weapon, and we got plenty of... I don't wanna... She'll probably have another, um... She'll have... She'll be able to carry her own items. Yeah, I like hope so. Get her, so... I so, can yeah, imagine just... having, like, three characters and all, like, all their gear equipped, taking up room in the inventory. That'd be a nightmare. Tucson. Land I'm sick of, of this town. Lakes. Oh. I want to get out of here. Oh. Frankenstein just uh, got you there. <laughs> uh. What's wrong with your face? <laughs> <laughs> His name is Unassuming Local Guy. You know, I'm not too into the uh, the, the battles in this game. None no, of the enemies really look threatening. They're they're all really small. Yeah. It, it seems like this game. I can't. I can't. The one thing I really wonder is if this game actually is is like taking the piss out of itself all the time, or if if that's just that, something I, like the. I don't know what you mean by that. Sorry, I mean like to to take the piss is to like joke around. So when you you're like making fun of something, you're taking the piss out of it. Um. But like, I can't, I can't tell if this game was, is like always stupid and like making fun of itself, or if that was something that like the translation team was like, this game is dumb. And we need to come up with something better to say. Let's see what the sign says. Where, where do you pick up this like slang, Baxter? I think that's that it might be British, because I think Yahtzee says that a lot in his videos about video games. Ah. Uh. And what does Yahtzee have to say about Earthbound? Uh, he's mentioned Mother 3 before, but mostly only complaining that it's never been released in English. This oh. upsets him immensely, so I, I assume that he likes the series. Well, your mother's a whore, so... I don't know why they would need a Mother 3. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is this hallway? <laughs> There's nothing... I hate this game. That's a cavern. Just... Climb, climb up those vines. Okay. No, we're gonna get stuck against a wall again. Just like... What the hell is that? What is that? Radish. Uh! uh... <laughs> it just got up and uh... <laughs> it's called a mobile sprout. Ugh! See, that doesn't look threatening at all. It just looks is, weird. What is that? I'm not threatened by that. Just step on that. Ugh. That's something that a lawnmower can defeat. Just like in Dead Alive. Ugh! I think... That's right, stop moving. I shot that plant with a slingshot. I mean, where are the dragons? The, the toughest looking enemy you've fought so far has been a robot that was like an inch tall. We fought Frank that one time and he had a knife. Yeah, okay. That's but that's weird in a different way. You know, he's <laughs> just a dude with a knife. That sure that's scary, <laughs> but not in a video game context. Yeah, you're right. Also this girl is, is hunting for mushrooms and she's just standing in a patch of them. It's like, hey Hey, they're right here. Like, the hunt's over, girl. You found your quarry. You are in it. Neck deep in mushrooms. Uh oh, it's the diglet again. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it will help you with smashing things. <laughs> Smash! <laughs> See, it's stuff like I that. I will smash things. <laughs> I am moron. I am moron. This show is the best show on the internet. 
<laughs> oh! Because we just quote other shows that have been good. <laughs> we, we, uh, we distill the internet for you, people. We go out there and we get all of it. All of the pop culture. We bring it down to you and we only give you what you need. What you need we to are sorely away. lacking if that is our goal to get <laughs> all the pop culture. I don't Excuse know anything me. about about Kim Kardashian. <laughs> That's pop culture, right? I I guess I guess celebrities are pop culture. I don't even know what 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 sh he she is famous for. Uh, she's one of those people who's famous for being famous. Is Kim Kardashian a woman? Yes. Okay. She also has a very I, large butt. I, I, I don't know if she's, like, possibly a, a like, Korean guy. <laughs> might be named Kim. Maybe thinking of Kim.com, a person who actually changed their last name to .com. Got, like, arrested by the cops in New Zealand or something a few years ago. Like, for changing his name to .com? No, he, he ran... Mean, I don't, he ran that site, uh, Mega Upload, which was just, like, a, just the den of yeah, piracy. Yeah, I know. I, I, yeah. Yeah. So this teddy bear appears to be doing, uh... Whoa, uh... Don't touch that clam. I'm... Oh! Ah! <laughs> I didn't want to touch the clam. <laughs> <laughs> and it sounds terrible too. <laughs> it sounds like an old dot matrix printer. <laughs> oh. Also, I bet with my low quality mic, that's gonna sound awesome when I listen to it later. Here we are fighting this this Xerox machine. <laughs> Don't touch that pencil either. I haven't got a choice. Touch the monolith. Do it. <laughs> Become intelligent. For some weird reason, a pencil shaped iron. Okay, it's iron. Oh, <laughs> well, okay, I guess we can't get past here. Might as well uh, give up on that. Iron pencil in the way. <laughs> it's not like I have crazy brain powers or something that could deal with something about this. Also, uh, her iron pencil statue? <laughs> that's what's- that's what's blocking your path? That's the best they could do? <laughs> like, it's like I said, I can't tell if this game is just like... Is, I can't tell if this game is making fun of itself, or the translation team is making fun of the game. <laughs> I really hope it's the latter. <laughs> you really hope this game is just sort of bad, and it's just- Americans poking fun at it. Yeah. <laughs> Nintendo Americas you get got it from Hal and they were like, oh. Oh dear. <laughs> I thought this was where we're supposed to go. They keep saying Naomi was in the happy happy village and this is the road to the happy happy village. Well, you you have to solve that pencil issue somehow. Maybe we need to get some other Hello, weird little girl. Maybe she did something. Uh, she's just all coked up on sh How'd she get here? And where'd she come- Ugh. I hate this I think town we gave now. up on that iron pencil too soon. I don't think there's anything else we can do. We have, like, no gear. Well, what, what, what is the Suporma? What is oh. a, what, what? That was a machine, right? What does that do? That's a good point. Uh... Also, you have the broken machine. Maybe it's the other part of- Part of the pencil. <laughs> it's the eraser end of an enormous metal pencil. You must reunite me with my eraser. Alright, let's go, go around. No. Alright, let's look in our inventory. Maybe we can use the teddy bear? Nothing happened. You use the use the soup I forget what soup pour it, it was a uh, a portmanteau of, of something. Orange kids invention. Full name is the Super Orange Machine. Oh, Super Orange Machine. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Well, uh -huh. great. Great. There. N uh hey, try the broken machine. Can't break it anymore, I suppose. Nothing oh. happened. No, stop trying to talk to the statue. Okay, uh, uh. it, it was made of iron. What what counteracts iron? Maybe hmm, maybe our soundstone will do something about that. No, that just warps you, doesn't it? I think it just plays that song. Well, that happened. Huh. Well, let's let's get on our bikes and ride. Okay, yeah. You, you, you must have to do something else. A less confining elsewhere. Area. Oh. There's something about the theater back in town. Maybe we have to go do that. Ugh. You really need a fast travel system. For real. <laughs> It'd be great if you just got, like, a horse. But it... You have a bicycle, but you For... can't ride it on the grass, apparently. You can't ride it when you've got a teddy bear in tow. Oh, crap. <laughs> so they just freaking out. Let's do this weird Deal plan. Crap. Oh no! Have at you. <laughs> they keep attacking my teddy bear. That seems messed up to me. Yeah, does it take damage? I keep saying it does, but I have no idea how much damage, how much health it has left. It doesn't appear to. Maybe it doesn't have speed. health. Maybe, maybe it's like a decoy. Huh? Maybe it just absorbs hits. That'd be cool. Oh! Phone's ringing, dude. Dude, dude, your phone's ringing. Oh, it's the Apple Kid. Apple Kid, I never gave you my phone number. <laughs> Are you calling me on a cellular phone? Prank caller! Prank caller! <laughs> oh crap. More vegetation. Let's do this! Uh oh. I got a mushroom on this one, too. I need to get that girl over here. She says she's a mushroom. Yeah, call hunter. that girl over here. <laughs> hey, your girl! Yeah! All that Mode 7 stuff in the background is giving me a headache. I was just thinking the same thing, how... It, even if the battles had just some sort of setting, it would be... You know, a little more interesting. Yeah. You know, just like Chrono Trigger, and it's just like you're just here in the world, and everybody just sort of jumps into position. Well, I mean, that that's a little advanced for this game. You know, I I'm, I'm willing to accept this sort of turn-based... Uh, well, I guess Chrono Trigger was turn-based, too, wasn't it? Uh, it was active time battle, so it had the little bars that filled up. Oh, that's right. And you just attacked as you, uh, as your bar filled up. Yeah. It was the same system, though, but I guess, I guess... The way with cartridges, like, the technology can advance a bunch. Because, uh, you can always put more chips in the cartridge. Well, yeah, Chrono Trigger was also a huge cartridge. It was, like, bigger. And other cartridges. Was it really? Yeah. Whoa. I think so. Wasn't it? I don't remember. Oh my god. I didn't actually own Chrono Trigger. So. I had it when I was younger. I loved that game. Maybe it wasn't bigger. Maybe I'm thinking of something like Game Genie or some weird thing like that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Did you ever have a Game Genie? I always had friends who did, and I was always envious of them, because I was really bad at video games when I was younger. <laughs> and I don't think I've gotten any better, I think... <laughs> I think the games just got easier. 
Oh, I don't know about that. I was not even intellectually equipped to handle uh, Earthbound when I first had it. When I rented it. Yeah. I had absolutely no idea. I had no concept of a a uh, a world on a plane. You know. Yeah. I my all my experience had been with stuff like side scrollers and. I don't know, like Galaga and things like that. I am totally mesmerized by this dude next to the fence. Yeah, we've seen that guy before. Tell him your secrets, Purple Man. Find him. Cave his skull in. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's just something about these enemies that. Seriously, what's wrong with your face? He looks like a cobra. <laughs> We're gonna see a cobra later in the game, and it's gonna be the exact same sprite, just recolored. <laughs> nope. Oh, back here. See, there's that guy. He's selling, uh, hookahs. That's, that is an enormous hookah. <laughs> Orange kid- Oh! It's uh, a hookah for, for like, 50 people. <laughs> it's a community hookah. <laughs> There's Jason. <laughs> Look at this kid's face. <laughs> He's making that colon capital I face. Isn't that what, uh, uh, Apple Kid looks like? I think that's Apple Kid. Oh. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, well, that's convenient. Gee, thanks, Apple Kid. <laughs> so you had this really absurd problem? Well, here's a really absurd answer. Just <laughs> This kid's like Radio obviously. Shack for assholes. Radio Shack for assholes. You've got asshole questions, we've got asshole answers. What would be the opposite of Deus Ex Machina? Like, a problem that just comes out of nowhere. Uh... Maybe a, a devil? I don't know what the uh, Greek for devil is. Or maybe like a... Hey. Deus Ex Machina is also not Greek, but is it that not? aside... <laughs> is that Latin? <laughs> Sorry. Yes. God damn it. Whatever, you stupid, yo. <laughs> right, let's call our dad and save our game and hit the, uh, hit the hotel. Hey, dad. We are 22 minutes into this episode. Alright, we should be able to get back to the, uh, to the pencil in time. Yeah. Get back to the pencil. Save that game. Whoa! Whoa! Just... Come on, Dad. I gotta go. I got places Also, to don't you find it rather strange that the pencil eraser erases pencils? <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's not the eraser end of a giant metal pencil, it's just a thing that destroys pencils. <laughs> In other words, it's fire. Yeah. I really hope it's that, too. Just pull it out, it's like a flamethrower. You just torch the pencil. <laughs> it's, like, it's made of fire, this isn't helping at all. Oh. Oh yeah, our, this pencil is made of, uh, made of iron. <laughs> it's a thermal lance. I mean, it's a pencil eraser. It'll also erase damn near anything you pointed at. <laughs> No, only pencil-shaped things. It's gonna be a, an oblong hexagon. You, uh... As long as whatever you're pointing the thing at, you know, looks more or less like a pencil, it'll work. You wanna, like, destroy a forest? You just gotta cut off all the branches of the trees and sort of sharpen <laughs> the end. Then it'll work. 
<laughs> or you have to really expand your definition of pencil. <laughs> you get a, com a bunch of companies to start making really bizarrely shaped pencils. <laughs> you change the, the notion of what a pencil <laughs> is in the public's eye. Yeah. You, like, you go to pencil manufacturers and, like, look, I need you to make a pencil that's shaped like a T-72 and make it really <laughs> popular, because I've got a serious problem with these Russian tanks. <laughs> you just start <laughs> marketing things as pencils? <laughs> <laughs> the M1A1 pencil. It weighs 70 tons and has a .5 millimeter lead. It's like in that comic, uh, uh, Problem Sleuth, where... <laughs> <laughs> you pull out your pencil and it's it's like a, it's a machine gun launcher. or something. <laughs> what machine gun? Every time we come through here, there's just more. St oh god, they're all moving. I want to know how these things are growing without any light. They have green leaves. <laughs> <laughs> they use broto synthesis. I don't know what that means or why that would work. I'm sorry, um, were you talking to me? Did you say something? No. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> Go back and edit that dumb thing I said out. And then all the other dumb things I said out, and it'll just be a silent video of somebody playing Earthbound. God, just die! Finally, jeez. Asshole plant. <laughs> no! <laughs> no, run! Oh. <laughs> I wasn't gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> Get on your bicycle! <laughs> Get on your bikes and ride! I want to ride my bicycle. I think we already made that joke. It's possible. It's a good song, though. Mmm. Queen. Tired of gaining experience. I just want to get rid of that pencil and move on. <laughs> I like that they made us walk out here, then walk back, then walk and TC some kid, and then walk back here again. That's not a puzzle. That's just a dick move. <laughs> Earthbound isn't organized so that it'll be easy for you. <laughs> it's organized to waste my time. Alright. I mean, what is a video game? You know? It's a thing that's organized to absorb your time. I guess so. It's just one... It's not a very exciting obstacle, though. Yeah! Ah, uh, erase that pencil. Somebody get Arnold on the phone. Cause I'm the eraser! It makes you go through stuff like that so you'll appreciate the other moments more. Oh. Economics, man. Uh, uh. Oh god, it's this guy. Uh, you wanna come over here and say that? <laughs> come over here and say fuzzy pickles to my face, motherfucker. <laughs> I made a stupid face as though that could actually take a picture of me, and now I feel really terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, later, Top Hat. <laughs> well, now I have a memory that'll last forever. That... <laughs> that tree is pulsating. <laughs> In investigate it, you have to. Mom! <laughs> There's oh, no problem good. here. Just move hey, along. Hey, do we have a problem here? We have a problem here? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> that's what I thought. What? What? Oh my god. Somebody called the tree service. That ain't right. I'm now suspicious of all tree. Oh! It's a rubber tree. Stop. If only we had an ant. Oh god. Duh! Oh no. Not more of these flying clams. If only they were flying bearded clams. I don't want to find them both, but it's not going to let me get away uh, with that. Those are obviously flying oysters. 
Excuse me, sir, I'm a bivivologist. I know my muscles. I don't even know if either of those terms apply to what oysters or clams are. Die. I get I guess oysters would count as bivalves. Do they have two when I think valves? When I hear bivalves, I think crustaceans. But wait. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything about marine <laughs> biology. Did you see that? That thing just gave us a cold. Well, blow your nose. <laughs> it, it said it fired a beam that causes nighttime stuffiness. Ugh. You see that red flash? You're gonna lose health as you walk around now. Crap, I don't have any cold medicine. See, there's a little icon by your name that said snot dripping out of my nose. Hey, snot. Oh, crap. Oh. Uh, that noise is so loud in my headphones. <laughs> I know, me too. Yeah! It, what do you mean it didn't work? It's a sci film, man. That's causing my hit points to go down. Die already. Maybe it's a sci-fi ohm. I have nothing to say to that. <laughs> I reject your, your assertion. It's... You drive me to drink. <laughs> Once again, just demonstrating the utility of the one-hand-only playstyle. I can enjoy this delicious beer and play Earthbound. Alright, I'm gonna come get this. The wonders of, of one-handed video gaming. That's right. All those one-handed keyboarding skills are really coming in handy right now. <laughs> Is that just happening while we're standing around, too? Oh my god. Uh, uh, yeah, it's probably on a timer or something. Crap. Is not good Take either. a, uh, uh, I don't know, what, what what's the cure-all? I don't think we have one. Is ether? Is ether the thing that cures all? Elixir. Elixir, okay. Ether gives you your hit point, your mana points back. This mm -hmm. game don't, this game don't truck with no kind of ether. But I want to encourage kids to, uh, drink solids. <laughs> <laughs> it's a serious problem in Japan today. I read a paper a while back about, that was written in like the 1700s, about ether and all its like wondrous, uh, capabilities. Do you mean like, the ether? Or like the, 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 the actual solvent? Well, I mean, it's, like the solvent, you know, I, I, I don't know if it meant the same thing, hmm. you know, it was a, it's like an alcohol, I think. Oh, okay. That's uh, pretty cool. But you, but they would they say things like, you know, drink a tiny bit of it or uh, rub it on your forehead or something like that. And it's like all these different things you can do with it that are supposed to cure ailments. Nice. Oh, I really hope. I think we have to turn back. I think. Oh God, all these trees are moving. Yeah. We need to go and come back with cold medicine. God, crap. Uh, I'm out of, I'm out of PP, man. We're at the 30 minute mark, too, so. Uh. Just letting you know. This is true. I don't care. Okay. I've got all night. We can go on as long as you want, but. Paralysis is not going to help me. Get on your bike's ride! Damn it! <laughs> I hate you know, this bicycle. A stupid look on your face too when you ride it. Like <laughs> this bike is useless. Oh, <laughs> and we're dying still. Nope. Uh, I need that present. Just get off the bicycle. There. Take it. Just 
follow that maybe work. I'll, maybe you'll be lucky enough to not be sick anymore. It increases your luck. For how long? I don't think that's gonna do you any good right now. No. So we got 70 hit points. Plus, if we die, we'll just respawn at the hospital anyway, so that'll be fine. Well, if you got that butterfly, that would heal you, right? I think it gives you PP, but then we can use uh, Life Up. Crap. What? Ah! It's that thing uh, from Neon Genesis Evangelion. That name is way too long to say in the middle of a joke. If you would have just said Evangelion, I think I think you would have gotten the point across. They keep. Uh, Oh my god. They had to use the uh, the giant gun to defeat. Yeah. Uh, I'm concerned that these things are gonna kill us. Anime is stupid. <laughs> Take a stand, Andrew. <laughs> no, like really, take a stand against that noise, for God's sake. The new, the rebuild of Evangelion is, is really cool, though. I'm I'm in support of it. Nice. The new movie came out this month. Oh, really? Or maybe it was last month. It's coming out in, in America in January. Oh, okay. I know that. How, do you know how many of those you're supposed to make? They're all movies, I think there's right? only four. Okay. And they're each about an hour long, I think. It, it like, retells the, enti the entire uh, series. They cut out a bunch of it, I think. But, you know, it, it follows the basic uh, structure of the... the series, which, you know, was bad. <laughs> it had a cool premise, but went up its own ass way too soon, so. I don't know what happened at the end of that show. Alert. Inscrutable. Yeah. Totally inscrutable. Anyway, the new one's cool. It's, <gasps> it's like, it's a show about giant robots, not about, like, insane existential ranting to pictures of bicycles and things like that. <laughs> We're going to die. No! I for one welcome death. Sweet release. <laughs> the unbearable lightness of being was too much. I became so light that I floated away. In case you didn't figure it out, I have never read The Unbearable Lightness of Being, and I never will. What? What, what? is The Unbearable Lightness of Being? Oh, I, th I thought that... Well, it's, a, it's like a book about philosophy or something. One of my friends read it. He liked it a lot. Well, here we are. And here we shall remain. Who, until who next week. It? It's like a modern... A modern work? Is it like a summary of philosophy, or is it... To find out, you'll have to tune in for episode <laughs> 10. I mean, it sounds like something Nietzsche might have written. I don't think it was Nietzsche, but it could... I, no, I, I don't think it was. I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty familiar with Nietzsche's corpus, so... Um, I'm gonna look it up. Our audience needs to know. You just <sighs> run around in circles for one minute while I fact check. I'm calling our dad. Well, party people. Better get some straight knowledge dropped on you. I mean, if you've been listening to the show for seven and a half hours or whatever. Alright, Hotelier, let's do this. Okay, it is a novel. Oh. By Milan Kundera. Tell me more. No. 